to gather. At least the dwellers are going to gather. At least that's the goal. Oh, this doesn't actually do anything. We'll have the one filling test. That one right there. We in the model somewhere. Color. Dweller inventory. What's a dweller? I'd ask this question. Equals map. either going to be individual an item well actually let's just make you call you inventory okay. item list Item list. Call an item list. What's an item? Item equals berry. Berries. Ella sensing is not working. That's fine. Oh, there you go. There you go, IntelliSense. They're highlighting. Man. Okay, so that's an inventory item list. You there. An item that's an inventory. We're going to need some sort of dweller inventory function.
then. Let's find where is it? Answer it. Let's we're just assuming that. Yeah, they're very right. So we're going to actually make a dweller inventory. Our inventory repository, the most important thing is that we're Inventory. Add item to the inventory. No contacts. It's gonna fire, 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 which is an item. Unit. We're going to raise not implement exception. Blah. So okay. Hello, Flat. Our inventory. Appender. We add our E. Identifier. Add item context. Pulls. Extract. Or add pieces of that. Put no unit test on you. Well, we're not going to put no unit test on you because really all this does is say. Context or inventory adder. So that's what that does. That I need. Add to my business context. Where in the script? Be implemented the next time I try to build. Well, I'll, just, I'll just do that now. Get that added. It's so added. Base dweller in 
repository, repository, context. Ref color inventory store item color there. Here, equals uh, item identifier. And you get the no unit lists. That should be just fine over here. And you it. Go. Boom. Dweller and then dot at that. We're going fake sync. Raise ref, raise ref. That one. You know what? I need to close tabs. I need answer business. Tool. <sighs> the dweller add item text the fire very least. It adds a berry. There we go. That is a you gathered. You gathered. Something happened. You took an action. Do there's a gather assignment? We did that. Can be assigned. Uh, yep. Very item type. Got that. That. Um, so I'm gonna add a few things to it. This is. Uses that's what we're talking about. Now we need statistics. What do I think about TDD? That's a bit of a vague question. Can you be more specific?
happy to answer your question, of course. I have a very strong preference. Well, hmm, preference is a is a term. Um, let me let me not use preference because uh, there are a lot of aspects of test driven development that are not very interesting or fun. I do know that of the methods of developing software that I have used, TDD is the only one that will result that results in a long-term maintainable project. All other methods of developing software including many variations on TDD. The variation of TDD that I happen to practice right now produces software that is maintainable. I find it preferable to develop software that is maintainable in the long term, so I so you might say that I prefer the method. If you don't do the practices of TDD, what will happen is you will initially have a big hurt of productivity and get some code written. But over time, your code will become bogged down with tech debt and other problems. Repeat, well, there are various forms of tech debt. You will get bogged down with tech debt to the point where you cannot make forward motion in that project without huge amounts of effort at which point you may abandon the project or you will just hate working on it and there will be death marches and there will be crunch time and there will be all of that but test driven development or the practices of test driven development help prevent those things from happening they can still happen if you forget some of the practices And the practices are not just writing you tests. As a matter of fact, that's only one of the practices. Of I hope that I have adequately answered your question. Apparently, I've answered it in a, in a way that you find satisfying enough to follow. So, thank you for that. The, on the way to test-driven development, there are a number of traps that will fall into. And Flav, it's do or do not. There is no try. Actually, there is try. There is. It's a. Uh, I refer to it as a cult or a religion. It's a religion. I call it a religion. Really, all a cult is is a religion that nobody likes. The payoff of TDD you will not see in a small project. Small project you just like, it took me longer than I need in um, projects of relatively small. Also, chances are you've been writing to Wow. 
What? There's such a thing as too many tests? Yes, there's such a thing. Intriguing, tell me. <clears throat> you wouldn't believe me if I told you. <laughs> Well, there's a consequence. Okay, there's a there's a consequence to writing tests, and there's a consequence to not writing tests. When you don't write tests, you're going to write down. You're going to write some code on day, whatever day it is. Day. Although well, today is today is day twelve. Right there, code on day twelve of your project, and that code's going to sit there till day sixty, or hundred and sixty, or a thousand and sixty. That's going to sit there. And there was some, it mostly worked, but there's some little flaw, and you didn't write a test. When you return to it, you go, oh, okay, I see that. I can just do this here. <clears throat> you don't remember what you used that code for. You don't remember that what the, exactly what that code has to do. You just go, ah, well, it's fine. I'll just modify it. And then you run the code, and something else breaks, and then you got to change. Then you have to. And this is the part. Then you have to spend a bunch of time tracking down what that problem is. He isn't about the test. TDD is about your future. Your future. What's TDD after? And recovering it for you. Giving you a set of tools by which you don't waste your future time. That's what it is. All right. At this point, you know what I do need to do. I need a dweller inventory store. I need a unit test for that. I'm gonna go. Test. I am a uh, cloud architect and DevOps manager. That is what I do. Pay my bills. So I don't. I don't write a lot of new code. I very often go in to code that maybe I wrote it in the past. Maybe somebody else wrote it in the past, and <clears throat> and. I refactor it with the very practices that I that I've been practicing. That's actually what this stream is. This stream is me practicing how to do what it is I do. But it's more fun because it's a game. I like because the game is the game is interesting. So and the stuff that I work on at work is not interesting. So this gives me something interesting to practice my skills on. That's what my stream. Assert. Item. Come to here's inventory. Is it at a university or a college?
because universities and colleges deal with the hypothetical and theoretical, and I deal with the practical. Um, universities and colleges are great for getting somebody more well-rounded, but I have found invariably that that does that only helps to a limited extent when I actually need a person who's good at something. And so I have to spend so we have to spend time developing Sweden eventually to be okay. There's yeah, so it's uh you, you whatever whatever word is is it uh There's also, because uh, in, in, in French, there's this idea of formation, which is like a boot camp, but what English would be, uh, what English would translate into. There's also those sorts of courses. Okay, college. All right. Every every language has its own little little wrinkle in that notion, but okay, so yes. But there's there's learning at college and university. They will teach you about subjects. You can talk a lot about uh, what I do. I do is different than learning about. Now I have a lot of, I have, I have friends who they'll, that what they do is they read white papers about a lot of things, but they've never done them. They do things. Of, of the things that I don't much care for at the moment is that this is this is kind of a here dweller add item test. We're gonna actually make a add a folder inventory remove you into another one hold Session time. Yep, this is about session. About session. Push door, find identifier for name. Hmm, I'm not sure here. There. Dollar store, you're in the dollar store. Right. Or we put identifier. Part of it, part of what I do, I'm sure that my order hasn't screwed everything up. session ah uh. 
of after list. All right, super cool. Now that I have gone ahead and done this, what I want to do is I want to say, um, actual B, open for if it's person. Or dot item valid dweller. I'm going to add a berry. Does nothing. That is actually going to up and leave this, and it's toppled. Boom. Oh. We don't have open stop model. Bella Buller identifier. Ah, ha ha. There we go. Okay, so that should fail. Tests, a couple of failing tests. Got two, one of which is hey, hey, we're doing this, it advances that. We're not getting anything for add item context. Text. There, repository. And dot. There, that. Equal to. Yeah. Back to table that mm. we just count calls for and that calls for an item ref zero bell. A assert full ninety nine UL item dot value. We're saying whenever you're advancing the settlement, when everybody's a gatherer, you're going to gather, you're going to be called three times on it. Oh, it says 99, but it's actually 3. 3 actually makes more sense. We'll change it to 3. And our test will pass. Okay, verily. The test has passed. Okay, this thing says, hey, it's not implemented. No, 
It really isn't. But the sort of thing that I have to want also is I have to be able to clear an inventory. Clear an inventory, I have to be able to add an inventory. I also have to be able to find something. Inventory. So I'm not going to worry about that just yet. So when, I, when I'm in here, it produces fatigue in the dweller, it produces hunger in the dweller. Uh, inventory is purged when the dweller ceases to exist. Is command or command inventory dweller in it <sighs> Page of dweller inventory. So this does forcing myself into things where I have to provide I have to provide this function right purge identifier 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 exception no tests Um, sorry, Fair. identifier, no. identifier. For and that item list holds not implement exception, no tests. So then, these three things which my requirements make necessary to build upon. If I can add them, I can grab them, I can. Like a big item test, purge item, something like that. Hello, new item. Go. Go. Item um, yes. 
items. Get all items. And below. The page test. Don't paste. Oh. See. It. Graves. Page of items. Right. Page. Uh, zero UL. Why not? Okay. It's first page. Items for dollars inventory one zero was passed. Was bad. Who is bad? Page one eight one. Second page of items one eight two is one two. Everything's gonna fail. It's going to be fabulous. What actual ever. Assert. Oh, what's going on here? Why did everything get? Oh, all right. Now we're gonna get to it. Page tests. That's much better. Assert. Nine well. Nine. Well. This. Uh, we will ensure these things fail until I give them an implementation. Have color choice add item identifier berry so make sure we add an item. So an item here. Let the dweller inventory store get a page for my valid dweller inventory one. Well, first page, insert very full row. All that length. So that's what the tests removing all of them. So if I add an item and I purge and I get a, I get the first page, I should have none. That makes sense. Case of adding, be able to your inventory purge the items for done valid dweller identifier, and I should let act, let actual be dweller inventory store get page identifier. Well, to assert full one. So when I purge the items, there should be nothing left. When I add an item, there should be one item. So when I get the items, there should be one. Well, actually, at this point, I should be able to say have yeah, very. Actual, nothing. 
page. And I don't know this. So we're going to leave that failing the way that it is. There's more stuff that I have to do that will only happen once I get a bit further on. Us, <sighs> bird blonde, get. work on the definition and I believe that internally say let private When I add an item, very first thing that I do when I add an item is that add an item, I'm going to grab what I have left. So let's color. And then full inventories value find identifier and option dot value. Alt it to nothing. So that's our dweller inventory as we go in here. The old inventory. The old inventory is that. So you say let new inventory equals this. No, it's inventory new item. So now we have then wants to say inventory. Is the value map add the inventory add new inventory? Grab the old inventory. Here's the new inventory. A little bit simpler because always say dot remove. Merges the item, and now we have the other logger page thing. I think let's let's get it duplicated first. Okay, I have to go get more coffee. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it.
Page link stuff, and I gotta figure out how did I do page link things before. Ah, no more than. Oh, right. 
get a record count. I need to get a page. <sighs> For the moment, don't. Just return everything. The wrong thing to do. I can get. Grab everything. I ought not to. That's not what I want. Get a page of the. Calculate. Skip her page number. So, is what landed. Her. Let the duplication happen. I'm not going to avoid the duplication. Is the duplication always takes place. This is one of the things we fight against. And and okay. Okay, so now the duplication has occurred. Now it's time to do Good to have this. Age utility. Age. Really equals. Then Calculate skip page number. Both of those. Page utility. Oh. Turns in the list. Well, 
Dweller Inventory Store for that. Log store. Then does not get this thing. For the page number, or but now the very um, also very repeat take a look here at the repeatiness of this we have okay if a thing This basically it is it is the same code. But what are the things? I need a list. I need a list option. Option. There. That. So I have items. So items. That so I take skip. Go over here and get page link. Calculate that. Get the page. 
<clears throat> calculate the skip count, get the list of items. If the list of items is nothing, then. It will make that private. Hit page history is each utility dot page. Page length is page history length page. Is that going to do the job? I think your record here. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, we're gonna get we're getting close here. What I wanna do is I do want thing is put my page. Brief history. Oh. Now that's repeating. <laughs> Uh, check this out. This is fun. Now, is it worth it? So the, okay. Right. you too. Right. value identifier and poop that right into there. This is that'd be good. Getting over here
linked. So page link. That. Take you right into But that's okay. One more. It. Really? No, the same, the same size, the same length. Three, three, still three lines. No matter what I do. And this one's gonna. No. So let's go. Take a look. What happens? Does it work? Build nodes. It succeeds in building. So that's a thing. So let's run it. Let's see. Did we suddenly become successful in doing that? Many of them, we did. We still have three. Here's the first page when zero is passed. Okay. <clears throat> now at this point, all I need things Private. Stuff. Got a berry. Got fifteen berries in. So then, we just say add dummy inventory. That's dummy inventory. That. Or. List up items. Third items. Clear it out. Dot iter. How many? Dot either store add item there. fifteen berries. 
fire. Fifteen. Is that the dummy inventory? Is that dummy? Any of these should be a few. So now, all works the way it ought to. Good. Also, uh, I want get page count, but I think I want it here. Records. Let's see. Zero page. Up, up. The slightly wrong thing. Second, two, two, same, same. Got to be six, and I'm going to need a history page count. Three. Let's see. Get page. Page length. Things and there should be these tests. Ooh. Return. This one record. That is full page. Returns two. There's a full page of records. One. There we are. Oh. 
Aaron. S and then we commit. Persistence layer. Okay. Now in the business, you're there. Color identifier to a internal search text. Type. Context equals abstract. item text at the uh, business contact great Up and we'll wear it in one at a time. It allows me to focus on one thing at a time. Five failures. Space the repository dot context. Store dot right. One is a test context, so we say interface inventory repository purge context. Is it refs ref fakes ink. Space color repository dot purge item contact. F or purge item context. Context paste. Uh, and we build. Everything should be hunky and dory, and we can then move on to the next one. Great. And for tests. Don't have one. 
Oh, test. Oh, can't have a test. Do it. Wait. Yep. Don't. Right, those were tests. I don't need to run. Then. Purge items. Here. Item get First identifier times you went to sixty four. Text, which is a common text, default. Text dot, you know, that thing dot. Type color, gray, source, people, fire, to a UN. Get page count context equal dragged member thing on this graph. Get page context on Fired in. Base repository dot it can next. Ref. Restore page. No, 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 not caps count. No, still not caps. Count. Oh. 
Let's do this. And restore that page account. Add these two finally. This Next. Source. Is color repository dot count contact. Source. Oh, are these three times places dot now here we are that should be a In. Did all of passing. Hey, we're at test 100. How about that? That's a milestone right there. Oh, wait, I'm green. I can commit. Wired. into about bush okay I don't have the ability to look at the inventory of a guy they don't Art. In. oh me yeah there Have a turn. Akome has gathered. So Akome has a berry in her inventory. Now what? So next, I want to be able to do inventory of them. But I'm going to be right back. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. 
see how we can do how well we can do with our good play, good play. two things oh the purge when the dweller ceases to one thing so when the dweller dies purges inventory what happens when the session is just Settlement. Settlement of the system. There. And the settlement. Abandon. So. They abandon the settlement. Dweller done. This is this is a piece of color dot abandon. So over here. Settlement happens. Abandon. Apparently, yes. Next. To fire or to fire. Here, the just. I think I need you visible. I don't know where you go yet, but I do know where you go. Your existence. Existence. It's 
不起。是。Solar existence. So this is this is abandoned players. Session. Session. Ooh. Ooh. Then the existence of the dweller, moving from the session, whichever session he's in, we say dweller and repository purge items text there. Now it should. Now there should be a broken test. Or two. When I abandon the settlement, it's going to go. Hey, purge all the items for the for the dweller. And in the session, we'll also then hey, there's no please call them purge item context, purge items. Let call for wrap zero UL context. Inventory repository dot that is equal to the items with per jet. I go with per jet. Item. Do it. Right. I pass now. No, you're not going to pass now because you're saying 99 and it should be. Oh, so it's 99, it should be.
session, it everything from there. When I abandon a session, I'll purged. That's great. Okay. I want. Yeah, come in. Or you can. <sighs> That's marked as. Oh. That's done. Weller uh, uh. and Weller Fatigue. First, sorry, it's Weller. Uh, that's a thing. It's zero point. Mm -hmm. We'll say that every twenty four, every twenty four, every twenty four turns. Boring generates her gathering generate one twenty fourth hunger so I can change things later. That's fine. It's good. Stop, stop it. Boring. Gathering Able Gathering Done The things that we have to do. Good dweller. Yeah. So res generates that, long generates. That's one twenty-four. Quick calculator. One over twenty-four. So just to go, that's about zero point. Oh, point oh. What we just say point oh five. This is really one twentieth. 
That's okay. Two twenty hours. You need to eat. To generate. Yeah, I need to generate more. Pretty soon we're heading towards eat. Alright. Let's archive all things. We only have these. Yep. Kind of a short list of things to work with. Stores. Other inventory. Updated log and select current project. There's, I think I might be. I think I might be doing a think and merge, and then tomorrow. We'll get back to showing the inventory. It's starting to do. So tomorrow, and this this is a good spot. So okay, we've got the gathering assignment. You can gather berries. They are in your inventory. You can't list the inventory yet. But Get the oh, he's got moved. All right. And stuff got moved around. All right. So then, when, when it Time to find something to raid. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got Chris. We do. We got Tim. Tim has less. That's what we do. Although, you know. Rating grand. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. One viewer. <laughs> awesome. The tiniest rain. Off we go then. Stop, 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 stop.